So for today's so webinar, we are going to uh, talk about responsibility. Oh well, uh, on a previous webinar, I did talk about the independence and uh, and independence. It was it's definitely a topic uh, worth taking on because uh, you know you know you want to know uh, you know how to uh, do stuff on your own. So what is responsibility got to do with it? Well, the difference between uh, responsibility and independence is that independence means that uh, you are being on your own making uh, decisions you do things your way now responsibility that means um, that means people have to uh, do them in order to move forward so you have responsibility you have to uh, do uh, certain things in order to move forward such as uh, for example getting uh, getting the gas uh, for your car you know without uh, having the responsibility of getting the gas uh, for your car you will um, eventually uh, go nowhere uh, with uh, without the gas so so the responsible thing to do is, is fill up your uh, tank uh, full of gas. Another example is paying the electric bill. You know, without the electric bill, you'll um, you'll eventually lose power, and and it's kind of it kind of makes it uh, difficult to, uh, of using uh, the Wi-Fi you know, if you don't pay the electric bill. So responsibility, I do believe, uh, is worth uh, talking about when it comes to someone with uh, autism because you have to, you have to learn uh, how to uh, know responsibility and how you would know. Uh, whether people want to, uh, to have that responsibility on their own as they could move forward. It all started uh, when I was uh, 10 years old. I had the chicken pox um, uh, at the time, and and it was uh, definitely kind of miserable. It's, uh, you know, I was uh, I was too sick to go to school, and, and eventually I had to be, you know, I had to be, you know, back in the house and such. And uh, and my mom, uh, she. Uh, she had to go out and get some medicine, and I had to be uh, all by myself uh, in the house. But at the same time, you know, that's, that's the same thing with being independent, being like being uh, by yourself, that kind of thing. But at the same time, my mom, uh, she you know, she told uh, me, saying, hey, you may have the chicken pox, but you can still move around. So I want uh, you to do these uh, things for me, such, uh, such as, you know, make the beds, fold laundry. And, uh, putting away dishes and uh, another sense of, uh, of chores. Uh, of course, uh, of course, she was all right with my chicken pox, so she didn't really get uh, sick. So I was still able to move around and such. I just couldn't leave for the house. But at the same time, yeah, it's so uh, true. She uh, she gave me a lot of chores that I need to do, which is which is all those uh, all those things. So uh, so that was the uh, test of responsibility. Spoiler alert, I didn't learn any of those uh, lessons of being responsible, and they end up not uh, being done. Note that uh, everyone is uh, going to get uh, it, uh, you know, not everyone is going to get it right the first time, and not even the second time, or even the tenth that time. So repeat the same process to uh, you know, to challenge the potential for responsibility. And so my mom, she uh, would still go, you know, hey, make your beds, you know, do the dishes, you know, fold the laundry. She would still keep on uh, doing that, and you know, repeatedly, over and over and over again, whenever she, as uh, she is out, and um, there were times where I still didn't uh, didn't do it. Said so I was supposed to do, which is uh, responsible, and uh, but did she give up? No, she did not uh, give up. She uh, she knew that uh, you know eventually I would get uh, soon enough. You know, keeps repeating over and over, and I did mention in the webinar too that that we did uh, talk about repetitions. And so, with the responsibility, uh, this was uh, this was the part where uh, you know where repeating the same thing about doing the same chores over and over again didn't uh, give up, I did not quit, and then eventually I uh, I made the decision of uh, of folding laundry and putting away the dishes and and um, you know even making my uh, bed and so all that uh, good stuff. And she was uh, very impressed, very proud of me. The first act of responsibility. Is uh, you know doing what you're supposed to do while being uh, while being told, and eventually the next step would be doing uh, doing what you're supposed to be doing without being told. And so with the draw uh, chores, it maybe even take uh, like I would say one or two years or so, or uh, probably even three years and such. It was, it was quite a while, but by uh, but mom did know that that you know eventually I would I would uh, learn how to how to do these uh, things all by myself. And and in the with the process of being responsible, is knowing is knowing uh, what the process is of having a car and driving. So you know what? So there's lots of responsibility here with having a car. 
such as getting a driver's license, you know, getting gas, and being responsible for the oil. You know, these are some examples in being responsible for, for having a car. Another part of responsibility that took me quite a well, while and even took me uh, into, uh, into school was, was also banking. You know, banking such as uh, the debit cards, the credit cards, or uh, and credit cards. Uh, you know, it took me a long time to figure out how debit card works. Or even, uh, I even took me, you know, even months to learn how credit card works. You know, it's all these numbers, all these different uh, numbers all over the place. You know, so complicated, so complex. You know, if whenever I go to uh, to a bank, it's just like, you know, there's papers and, you know, numbers and signs and, you know, letters everywhere and such. It's like, uh, it's like, where, what do I do? Where do I start? That kind of thing. And, you know, with school, you know, we, you know, we learned about personal finance uh, back in school. And and with personal finance, we just uh, learned, you know, just the basic um, aspects about about numbers and and just how the banking uh, works, such as, you know, credit cards and, and debit cards. You know, learning how to, how to ask questions for help. It doesn't even have to be you know, your parents. You can also be someone that's that you're kind of interacting with that too when it comes to making a purchase so you know my then my tip for you is is saying that it's okay to ask questions except for help uh when it comes to you know being responsible and and, and say so, you know ask yeah just say general uh, basic sense and say uh, you know um, they will uh, they will help you that's what a good that's what a good um store clerk would do or a good person would i uh, would um would help you with uh, is to uh, is to respond for questions, even if they're so basic. You know, it's all right to to you know answer questions that are being asked, and uh, you know that's just some uh, some basic small steps to being responsible. So moving on, I would like to uh, point out about this uh, particular program that I did that was uh, very very helpful, known as the ALP. What does ALP stand for? Adult Living Program. What is the Adult Living Program? Well, the adult living program is um, is like extra classes that that uh, helps me to move forward on how to live independently as the adult. And when and with independence comes with responsibility, majorly too. And an ALP taught me through step by step about how to be responsible in certain areas, especially when it comes to getting a job. You know, what is uh, one of my jobs? Well, one of my jobs is to sign and, and sell um, the books. You know, sign, s uh, excuse me, uh, sell, sell, sign, and ship books. So, you know, I, I get the orders, you know, I, I print out the labels, and then I, and then I sign my books uh, whenever people uh, sign up for my, for my Autism Works uh, 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 websites or my population uh, one websites and I would sign the books and then put them on little envelopes and then I would uh, ship them uh, ship them off. They also helped me out uh, with another job that I I also applied to for which was uh, to work at the bookstore. The bookstore we have a little local bookstore right so over there in, in <clears throat> and 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 I really wanted to work at the bookstore just to uh just because it's a um, you know it's a quiet environment it's uh you know, lots of great people and you know, I like to uh, to go there and read every so often there's lots of great uh, things uh, over there and um, yeah I kind of want to uh, apply myself as a job as a maintenance worker first thing except first you know you have to learn about the job you know learn uh, you know what they do if, if they are hiring or not which they were and and then the next thing we learned was was that we have to learn how to do uh, have to do a little um, resume. I was about to say essay, but it's called a, a resume. And resume just uh, means a uh, it means you know what are your talents, what are your uh, what uh, do you do, what are you good at, and um, and why do they uh, and why should they you know hire you for the for the job? And with the ALP, it took um, the quite a while now when it comes to this, but at the same time, consistently you know doing progress every single uh, day. It's not just about uh, jobs that they work on, but also other uh, things too, such as living by yourself, paying the bills, and and um, you know learning how to keep your job as as well. So you know, first of all, check the books and um, and you know, uh, literally a block um, to the uh, post office. That's that's how it uh, works. Another job is um, another job that I did next uh, next to 
signing books and shipping them and and getting the job at the book store was also writing my second book. My second book, you know, it's um, that is uh, that requires a whole lot of responsibility because I have to remind myself saying, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta do, you know, do some more writing and written work of of my second book. What's another job that uh, that I also would do? Doing these webinars. That counts as a job as well. That re- you know, that requires a whole lot of responsibility, and you know, especially when each webinar I've been doing these uh, webinars for almost uh, for the beginning of the year, and every time I do the webinars, I always come up with a, a different topic each. You know, no webinar is uh, the same uh, here, and and that requires a whole lot of responsibility to learn how to make uh, your outline uh, for the webinars and you know learn how to do the different topics and learn how to you know expand with the topics you know what to talk about with the webinars you know the whole thing about responsibility is that it is responsible to admit that that you need some help you admit that that you know you're not ready for for this or you're you're not you know prepared or you know ready for whatever goes on that's another um, that's another step to being responsible is you know admitting that that you need some extra help, you know admitting that that uh, you know you're just not ready for this is uh, you know is is totally all right uh, you know you totally you know have the way of expressing yourself expressing your feelings about certain things that's just a way of being responsible. So so my message to you is that you know no matter no matter what's your feeling no matter. You know, if uh, there's something going on, you know, just just talk about it. It's just uh, just talk about it with your with your uh, family. And then uh, and I learned that you know it's okay to talk about it with your friends uh, too on certain occasions as well. Know that uh, that they will be there to to help you to support you. Once you know responsibility, I do believe that you can uh, thrive uh, on many many areas, whether you have autism or not. And oftentimes, this is just me thinking, but um, but oftentimes, you know, with autism, the progress to responsibility uh, does does take um, you know, a longer time. And like I always said, you know, that does not mean that that uh, you are uh, less intelligent. That there's no hope for the future and such like that too. Because I know, because uh, because I did have that uh, feelings of saying, man. If I were to think about those, uh, you know, much faster, more clearly, then I you know, then I would learn how to thrive even further. You know, I did have those uh, thoughts. You know, the responsible thing to do is is you know learn from the past and learn how to move forward uh, to the uh, to the present and then ensure the future. That's um, that's the key part of responsibility. Once you learn, once you learn that. You can uh, do just about uh, anything you can put your mind to. You know, once you master responsibility, you can master independence. So, with in closing, I would like to uh, say that uh, that responsibility is definitely possible. There's there's no doubt about. It. There's, uh, you know, everyone uh, everyone uh, can have like uh, can want it. Uh, you know, everyone uh, can uh, can have that independence and as well long as they want to to have that independence to have that want uh, to be responsible then they can uh, do then they can do wonders for the future but but always uh, goes for for the very small basic steps on on doing so it always it always um, comes down to you know um, you know learning how to uh, how to accept being accompanied by by other people on on doing, on doing certain things so that you learn that responsibility by example. And with uh, that, thank you very much for, you know, for tuning in to this webinar. And hopefully I would see you on the next one.